Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be looking at an abstract music creation RTS. Is that a thing? Yeah, I guess that's a thing. Called Influence. A very interesting game and one that I definitely wasn't expecting to like as much as I did. Uh, I know I keep saying that a lot, but this was another one from the Game Dev Bundle. And I think this may have been my favorite one, or at least right next to Cardinal Quest, because I, I like both of those quite a lot. Uh, and like Oralux, this one also has some moving around points uh, related gameplay to strategically do stuff. But it also dynamically creates a soundtrack every time you play it, and is just very soothing and interesting. And uh, somewhat unique, I haven't really seen much else exactly like this. So we're going to do the tutorial, as we usually do. And you play as an idea. This is your id. It is attracted to your mouse cursor. Okay, very good. Colorless ids are neutral. Convert them to your color by approaching them. So this little dot that's floating around as if we're playing asteroids or something. Okay, well, it's, it's quite far away. I need to get closer. Uh, we're going to run into it if we can reach it in time. Yes, we can. And it should change to our color after a moment. Yep. Our, not only our color, but our symbol as well, and that's a whole thing, too. Uh, so neutral ids that you influence will take on your ids shape in addition to your color. Yes, I just said that. You cannot convert groups that are bigger than yours. So, um, as if we were dealing with schools of fish or something, we need to, like, knock them away from the herd, or the school, I should say. Uh, so the number that you're after is smaller or equal to the amount that you have in your cluster. And obviously as your cluster gets bigger, you're going to be able to more easily convert more of these dots. Uh, the game uh, on PS and I think Flow is, is what it's called, is, is a little similar in this respect in a couple ways. I think equally soothing, perhaps. So yeah, basically the goal is this simple. Uh, convert all the other colors or competing ideas to be you. Uh, and the game will start up with a variety of other ids competing, and you need to knock all of them out and hopefully attain victory. Now there are also some RPG-esque stats involved, uh, which we will cover when we start the actual game. Nothing particularly complicated, but they do help form the shape of your id. Uh, and then you can also set the color, and then I mentioned dynamic soundtracks, which are a thing, and we'll get to that when we finish a level or a fight or whatever you want to call this. Uh, so this is pretty much what the game's about. I mean, it's very simple, like I said, and I imagine this could be a lot of fun to play with friends as well, and you can play online. Uh, but I haven't tried that yet, so there we go, we've converted all of them. Oh, and then we've got colored ids, but thankfully since I got all of those other ones, I don't think I really have to worry too much. I'm just going to grab all of them en masse and win. Look at that, we've got a lovely cluster following around my cursor now. Some ids are faster than others, yes we know. Uh, that's what I mentioned about the RPG-esque stats. You can sort of hone in on a certain area. If you want to be dynamic, resistant, uh, flexible, like you might be able to get away easier. It might take longer to convert you. Uh, and there is the little chart showing the different attributes. Well, that one's trying to be a pain in the butt. Okay, well, it looks like we've pretty much solved the tutorial, so let's head back out to the menu. Uh, we get to customize a little bit. Uh, we can pick from, let's see, our allegiance. Not sure exactly how much this affects anything, but I guess for your save slot it's useful. Uh, my other save slot, I picked uh, Truth, Inquiry, Investigation, since I'm a bit of a skeptic. Driven by the desire for knowledge at all costs to enlighten, to learn, to find the untarnished and unbent reality. These are the scholars, the inquisitors, the hunchbacked researchers. That's a little sad. The ceaseless followers of the truth. Domination, power, wealth, curiosity, mystery, wonder, past history, memory, unity, community, collective. There's a lot of these things. And, wow. Identity, oneness, individuality, for the emos out there. Efficiency, freedom, independence, autonomy, America. Alright, sounds good. We'll be America for this one. 
We can also switch over to a dark theme, which I actually find very nice. Um, not sure which I should go for for the video, but um, I think we were doing okay with the white one for now. And we'll start up a game. So let's pick a color. Uh, what color should I be? Let's pick like a light blue. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Turquoise look. So we can set the agility, the resistance, and the speed. Uh, speed is pretty important, and resistance is pretty important, obviously, so you don't get instantly converted when you bump into something by accident. Uh, as far as agility, I'm not sure how that affects it compared to speed, but I would probably put that towards the bottom of the scale. And each attribute you give it is going to actually slightly change the shape of your idea. And you can make them really cool looking like that. And you only get so many points, of course, so you've got to use them strategically. Um, I think this seems like a fair build. kind of like that shape as well. I mean, we can play around with it for uh, just a second so you can see what the other ones look like. And you get variations on triangles and dots, it appears. Uh, that one you can make like an arrowhead. Wow, that's interesting looking. I like that too. Alright, I'm gonna go with this one though because I think that works pretty well. So we can pick how many different uh, dudes we gotta fight. So we got seven adversaries. Ego count, number of ego available to spend on your id. Is that? Oh, that's how many points I get to pick from. So if you're playing online, this would be an important slider since I'm not. I mean, I'm really limiting myself by what I feel I want to take on. We've got a pretty high neutral count, how many uh, colorless ids are going to appear. And then their adversarial skills, which are set at 3. Uh, if the colors are eliminated, there are neutral ids remaining, and neutral id will be converted to that color. That's interesting. So you can keep the game going a little longer. And players who share allegiances are allies. Okay, so all AI. Yeah, I don't even need that. You can keep everybody individual for now. So let's do a game. They're pretty quick. I may or may not win. So I gotta sneak in and try and grab some uh, colorless as fast as possible. Uh, the sooner you can convert them, the better off you are. I'm not doing particularly well yet, though. There we go, there's three. So now I can go at this group here. Oh no, they just joined up. Four. I'm not going to keep count the whole time. Uh, but dynamically, in addition to creating the music, uh, you're also going to notice the outside edges are going to change color depending on who is in the lead, which is a really nice touch. Uh, and it's kind of subtle, actually, because you would think at first that it seems like so much wasted space all around the border of the gameplay area, right? But in a way, actually having this sort of a subtle, uh, like, out-of-the-corner-of-your-eye peripheral type thing to see, it affects you in a different way than if you were just staring at, like, a meter or something. It's a little bit more clear, like, it, it tints the whole experience. It's like you're looking at it through the viewpoint of that color. I mean, it's kind of hard to explain unless you just try it yourself. Maybe you'll see what I'm talking about. But I am freaking dominating this game. Uh, these guys don't even stand a chance right now. I will trap them all inside of my massive orb-filled body. And I have silenced all of their voices, so my idea has one out. We can select Vanquish to instantly reach consensus, or we can click to continue and uh, therapeutically finish off all of these colorless ideas. I usually choose to do that because it's nice to hear the sound that's being generated as we play. Plus, it's just always cool to see uh, how massive you can get your cluster. You know, sometimes simple games are really the most fun ones, and this one, I'm not going to say it's the most fun game I've ever played or anything, but it is definitely uh, more than meets the eye and perhaps more than the sum of its parts. And this is the type of game you would play over and over again, and you keep making it harder and trying to get better strategies. Uh, because right now, I, I happen to win because I guess I had the, the settings down pretty low, and I kind of knew what to do right from the beginning since I've played this before. Uh, but if I set this up a bit harder, you'll see, this is going to become quite a challenge. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't notice, the colorless ones, as you get close to them, their tail will fill up with your color. So you can see it a little bit right there. And there we go. Now you can see the victory graph uh, as my color starts to win out versus the other colors as they dissipate. 
and a little chart of all of my adversaries and how well they did. And then we've got the song playing over on the left, and you can see the mapped notes on the bars right there. So we can choose to save the song if we particularly like this one, and we can go back and listen to it later. Or we can go back to the menu or restart with the settings we have. I'm going to go back to the menu, make things a little bit harder, maybe change up a couple things about my character here. We're actually also going to switch over to the dark theme, in case anyone uh, particularly enjoyed that. And let's make ourselves, like, yellow-orange. I like that. For the dark, it looks kind of nice. Uh, what will we set differently this time? We'll change speed down one and agility up one. See what that does. Okay, and we'll set our adversarial skill up to... How many are there? Six total? We'll set it up to four. It's just a little, little bit harder. Neutral count, we'll put that way higher, actually. Let's max that out and see what that looks like. And ego count, we already dealt with that. So let's play. See if I do better or worse this time. You know, it's quite pretty to look at, too. I mean, all those wavy effects and, uh... You know, all the stuff going on, the colors and spectra everywhere. I really like games with a lot of color, and I think this one definitely has that. The beginning is the hardest by far. You gotta get in a position where you can get away from all the other guys and still try and isolate some. And especially with this many colorless in play, it's definitely difficult to manage. Alright, but it looks like we're doing okay so far. Definitely important to have that resistance stack, because it would just really suck to get too close by accident and then all of a sudden get converted. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best idea. I'm getting kind of close to a lot of stuff. Well, maybe it is a good idea, actually. Just knocked out one of them, it looks like. Oh, I like the soundtrack for this level, or this arena, this fight, whatever you want to call it. This, uh, brainstorming session, perhaps? Yeah, after a point, you just sort of want to dive bomb those big clusters of colorless and see how much damage you can do. And try and get a, like, a chain combo in a way. I mean, there's not really combos, but it can give you that feeling. So it looks like I might still be a little bit too good for the AI at this point, although I probably shouldn't count my chickens before they're hatched, you never know, this uh, blue is making a bit of a comeback here. Well, there's still a few stragglers that look like they are just about worthless. Okay, we need to start converting blue, because blue is going nuts. Okay, get out of here, blue. Oh, crap, I think I just got outnumbered. That will teach me... Okay, no, actually, I haven't yet, because the border is still holding orange. But we've got quite a brilliant... Uh, looks like synapses or something firing all of this turquoise blue. Okay, they're trying to take me down. I think they're doing pretty well at it, too. Get out of there! I think we're, like, equal speed, too. Okay, I think if I can angle it just right, I might be able to edge out a few more than they can get of me. But it's still anybody's game. Oh, okay, I got him. I got him on the run. That was closer than I would have expected, actually. So, very cool song on this one. I like the music a lot. Let's go back to the menu again. Let's do a... I don't know, like a light green? I don't know if I like that color like that. How about a dark red? Red-pink. That looks okay. Not the color really matters, though. Uh, we'll set our speed up higher, resistance down one less. And we'll put our adversarial skill up even higher. I'm sort of setting myself up to fail at this point, but we'll just see what happens. We'll do one more game. Okay, I gotta remember who I am, because the uh, changing the colors every single time is probably not the best thing I could do. Alright, we've got another color has already taken the lead. I have yet to get a single one. Break off, break off, it won't break off. They actually can kind of trap you in there, too, because right now I'm so light that there's not much I can do to get out of that cluster. Regardless of where I'm putting the cursor, it's just sort of getting trapped in between all of them. Alright, I just took over a couple there. That's good. Let's see if we can convert even more. Different sort of soundtrack this time. We've got little shots of, like, 
and coral pads or something, and then twinkly... I don't know what you call that. Chimes. And as you start to take over more and more, you'll see the, uh, the tones will pick up and the music will start to gain a little bit of momentum. So it's really nicely uh, choreographed. Oh, well, I'm totally going to lose this time. I don't think I even stand a chance unless I can split these guys up, like, seriously. I was doing okay at the beginning, but I don't think I'm going to last very long. Oh, am I? Am I turning it around? I may be. Alright, convert all of those. Well, just by virtue of the fact that the outside of the screen is my color should mean that I have the most, right? So, unless multiple groups of color are trying to take me down, I should be pretty safe. Uh, and it looks like I won again. I didn't expect that at all. So that, I think, will pretty much do it for Influence. A very pretty, very uh, well-executed game with a lot to offer and some very cool... Uh, you know, unique little perks about it that I wasn't expecting to find. Very soothing and pretty to look at. So yeah, I've gone over in circles at this point, but I think you get the idea. Influence, definitely recommended. Very cool game. So, as always, remember to head on over to facebook.com slash so you can stay up on all of the new info, whatever's going on with the channel. You can share the videos with friends. If you have friends on Facebook that might like a game like this, feel free to hit that share button, send it over to them and maybe they will come over and join us in the Indie Impressions Facebook page. As well as that, head on over to Twitter, at Rockley Smile or at Indie Impressions, and then you can stay up on exactly when I upload all the new videos, and just shoot the breeze on whatever is going on in your world. I'm happy to talk with you guys about whatever, give me game suggestions, talk about whatever game it is that you found that you think is awesome. I will pretty much check out just about anything, uh, and if it looks cool, I will put it on my list to be featured on the show. So that will do it for today's episode. Thank you again for watching, and make sure to come back again tomorrow for another. Alright, thanks guys. Have a good night. Later.